Hey there, it's Alicia with the Full Circle. What's going on? 43, almost 44 next month. Um, 43 year old mom of five in the best shape of my life. And I have got a quick core workout. That's one of my faves to do extra, although I am gonna work on a um, leg burnout. I have something brewing in my head, you know. Um, so anyway, I have got this one today. I'm excited about it because it's some fun, cool moves from um, workouts that I've done. I always love getting like, there's certain ones that you like better than others or that you feel really work you out and strengthen the core. And those are the ones we're gonna focus on today. So anyway, but if you're not seeing results in the areas you want to see, I bet you it has to do with nutrition and nutrition is a huge huge part of it it's um, probably like 80% 20% in the workouts so if you need help on that end send me an email fitfullcircle at gmail.com all right guys let's get it going I'm gonna set the put camera up where you can see me but um, as always I will go full through the whole thing, no editing while I'm actually in the workout, so you can do it with me. Um, and um, yeah, so it's live with me, but um, I gotta move the camera so you can actually see what we're doing. All right guys, let's get it going. All right guys, we're gonna get into the workout now. We've got one minute intervals, I've got Nine, I believe. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll take around 10 minutes with transitioning. Um, so we're going to do each move all different for one minute. Although we're rotating between a like a bear, something with that, and um, you, another ab or plank or something. So first, oh first, we are starting. Let me show you the move first. So you're gonna start extend it out and come all the way up to a boat. You're gonna halfway back and up. That those two is one repetition. Um, if that's too much, you can just do a tap and then one, two, two, or just, you know, rotate one leg at a time. So a crunch, tap, crunch, tap. Okay? So, let's get going. I'm gonna hit the timer. These are pretty challenging. Um, if you do some of the boat and push um, and wanna switch to the crunch and tap, you could do that as well. So just do what challenges you. All right, so here we go. These are definitely, um, towards the end, it's gonna get, yeah, a little hairy. Um, but that's how we roll. All right, let's go. Okay, it's starting to get hard. Less than 30, we're halfway there. 18. Seven. <sighs> Two, one. Woo, holy smokes. All right. Transitioning, the next one is a bear tap out and reach. So you're gonna have your knees just popped up, tap them out, reach one arm. Tap them out, reach the other. If that's too much, Tap it, put your knees on the ground, and reach. Tap one foot, reach, okay? 
And like I said, if you start with the other, the more advanced, you can always drop down and switch back and forth. Like I said, do what challenges you, but not, you know, not so much to where you're like dying, dying. You're gonna feel like you're dying. Don't get me wrong. All right, here we go. Tap. Core is in tight. It's just a small movement. Keeping the core tight. You wanna make sure you're not tabletop, knees are down. Get it, girl. 30 seconds. So we're halfway there. You want your shoulders directly over your palms or your wrists. Ah, seven. A few more. Stay by the bell. All right. Oh, this is a side plank, so we're gonna come from the side plank, the bottom leg is gonna be down. We're gonna do a knee and a kick, all right? I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. So we're gonna stay on the one side. This time we'll hit the other side next time. Oh, an option, knee down. Okay, all right, here we go. This is challenging your balance, working pretty much every thing. Just make sure you're on top. Uh, shoulders are in a line. Uh, you can slow down, catch your balance. Let me see. 24. Uh, Almost there. Any second now. Ha. There we go. Like, come on, I know it's gonna. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Wait, oh, I was getting confused reading my notes. Okay. This one, we're in the bear again. Knees are up. You're gonna bring both feet, jump it. Side, middle, side, and back. You can just tap, tap. Um, you can come in and just tap one to side. So there's a couple different levels and variations. All right, let's go. The first 15, oh shoot. Sorry, my battery, it said my battery's low. And I was afraid it wouldn't. Keep going, or keep recording. 32 seconds. You wanna make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. Small movement, 22. I'm dying. <laughs> ah, little break. I think I'm gonna tap, tap to finish it out. No shame in taking it down. There we go. All right, we're gonna. Um, This is on the back. 
You're gonna have one knee up, come up, twist. We'll do 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. You can just do a small instead of coming up all the way. on this side and you can go as fast or as slow as you want it out all right switch I'm gonna turn so you can so I don't put my back to you there. Okay. What do we got now? Oh, okay. So another bear. We're going to tap to the side, walk our hands out, push up, back, tap, and then to a push up. Grab a drink real quick. My focus has been drinking more water. I'm always, always been a struggle for me. But now that I'm focusing on it, I'm realizing how much, how dehydrated and how much I needed it. All right, so tap out to the side and then push up. Now you can put the, um, your knees down and uh, do your push-up that way. But no matter what, make sure that you're in line, even if you're on your knees, or if you're on uh, your toes, that everything is in line and you're coming down together. Twelve seconds. I keep scooting down. There we go. All right, other side on the side plank. I was on this side, so I think it's this side now. Um, just make sure I have enough room. So it's the knee kick, and you can do, this is the option. Otherwise, you're on your toes, which the, either one is a great option. All right, here we go. Just balancing there is, um, I'm gonna kick my water bottle. <laughs> too fast and I'm wobbling or I try so just slow it down you could also just kind of readjusting because I guess because I'm trying to fit in the video feel a little cramped and it is killing there. You may have one side that is stronger than the other. I think that is my weak side. Oh, that was hurting my wrist. Um, all right. This one, hold on, let me adjust my mat. This is a bear. We're going to toe tap 
down plank and then hit the other side. And these are the last two. Whew, thank goodness. And I think this one this is the last bear. The other one we're on our backs. Um, I'm just gonna stretch out that really quick. If you need to, you can always come down to the forearm and do those, which maybe we should have done that. All right, guys, here we go. Get in your bear position. Instead of a toe tap, you could do a knee as well. Okay. Or a toe. Hmm. You could also step that in and out. And you want to try and reset yourself each time. Thank goodness. Whew. No joke. I'm telling you. I don't care how good a shape you're in or not in. It's always, always a struggle. All right. So, like I said, we're on our back this time. We're going to sit up, uppercut, hook, other side. So as you sit up, you're crunching to that side. So you're getting abs on the front and on the side, all that. If that's too much, you can just do a little, uh, uh, yeah. So last set. Here we go. So you want to start leaning into it as you come up. That way you're really getting a crunch on the obliques. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. I like my sound effects. a wrap all right guys so that's a wrap those were nine moves one minute each very minimal rest like maybe 20 seconds in between each and that is it so you can add that you can add any kind of core onto pretty much every single day that you are getting some movement in even the days that you're not um, I really like it is so hard to work the core too much. I don't think you can, like it's almost impossible. Maybe you can, but um, the more you work it, the stronger it gets. Especially us as moms and as we've had babies, like seriously, especially that lower, pretty much everything but the lower half um, is really hard to strengthen. So you just gotta keep working on it, um, strengthening it every, strengthening it every day and uh, Pretty much everything you do in life involves your core. Strong core um, helps give you good posture. I mean, it helps in every single area of your life. And it'll help with lower back pain, any kind of back pain, really, um, all that good stuff. But uh, so I'd encourage you to definitely work your core. Um, you work it pretty much in everything you do. So always be conscious of what you're doing here. And, uh, that's about it but seriously nutrition plays a huge role I know I mentioned that before but um, like I said if you need help 
I'm happy to help. I have a virtual online community where we um, we plug into a, a, a plan and a program that goes through nutrition, supplements, um, workouts, and full programs and that. No, they're not mine, but I highly recommend them. They are what has gotten me in amazing shape. And there, it's a team of experts who has way more experience than me or many others by themselves. So, anywho, that's all I have to say about that. Um, much love and hugs to you. I hope you're doing well in this season of life. This is summer 2018. Um, seems like just yesterday that, like this year just started, and now we're already six months in almost halfway through the year and like seriously if you don't take control of your time and of what you're doing each and every day like those daily habits then you'll wake up and it'll be 2019 then it'll be 2020 and on and on and on it'll be 5 10 20 years down the road and you're still in the same spot doing the same thing and actually probably worse off because it compounds over time you can either get the health and the daily habits can compound into good stuff or it can compound into like an avalanche or like this big mountain avalanche of um, negative consequences, which really sucks. So I don't want you to be in that spot. I don't want anyone that I know, love, or anyone, period, to be in that spot. So I am here, I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can. And uh, I can't do it by myself. So I would love to arm in arm. Let's do this thing together. Let's make an impact on the world. Like seriously. All right, guys. Love and hugs to you. Peace out. Mwah. And that, again, that's Alicia, Fitful Circle. Hope you enjoyed this. Please share with friends.